But I love music. That's why I'm here today. Here we go. Um, so anyways. Yeah, that's down. a Rob Tantrum jam. Like now clap your hands if you're always sad. And you know there's something wrong with you. Now move your From feet San Francisco, in California. And, and the world famous you. San Francisco now Sketch say, Fest here at the Memorial yeah, Marines so Auditorium. Carmen Town is now in session. Give it up for your game master, Spencer Crittenden. Thank you, thank you. Also, give it up for your deputy district attorney, Rob Schraub, is here tonight. And the mayor of Harmontown is Dan Harmon. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Very sorry. Thank you. So sorry. Uh, master of apologies. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's so good to be back here. I, lo I love San Francisco, obviously, but uh, more importantly, we love the Marine Memorial Theater. That's... Yeah, uh, 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 casino, hotel, and water park. <laughs> but it's no job. I, well, I, I probably expressed this last time. Is my mic too hot? Or That's fine, right? No, I... Don't... That, you, that's not an answer to my question. <sighs> Folks, I'm sorry for everything. It sounds good to me. Is it good okay. for you guys out there? I just uh, But if I go like this, that's, that, 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 that's if I want to do like a Richard Pryor joke where I'm like, you go down the street and you see the guy and he's like, what are you doing, son? <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll save that character for later. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just worried about... Uh, the guy, well, I, when I hear the word Marine I, I get, I, and Memorial, I think of the ghost of my grandfather who lied about his age to fight fascists and who is watching me uh, in my 45th year of life with his arms folded, uh, <laughs> a cigarette dangling from his lips like in a, in a costume designed by the uh, Dunkirk creators. And uh, I just just going like, what, when are you ever gonna get off your ass and stop these fucking Nazis? Like, I was 16, I lied about my age for the privilege of storming Normandy and you joined an improv troupe I, you're, at 30. I, you are such a fucking shameful lump when did he, of when did he fat. tell you? When did he tell you that he lied about his age? I, well, my grandma told me. I don't know. When? What do you mean, when? What do you, what do you, it, uh, d d depositioning my fucking dead grandpa? <laughs> what the fuck? Where is this going? You think he didn't lie about his age? Answer you think he's the lying question, about lying Harman. about his age? You seem like he, you're hiding he, something. You're distracting from the issues that people want to hear. I want to see a, a, a receipt about your lie. That's what we're alleging. I'm he, going to shut down Harmontown well, until we get to the bottom so we well, can strike a my, deal. My, my, my we're shutting is, down Harmontown. Was it like... Christmas was his birthday, and he goes, "I have a conf was his, I have a confession to make, Danny. <laughs> I have a confession to make. It's I wasn't 18. I wasn't 18. He I have a never confession. Confessed to me. I don't have that power. It was <laughs> that knowledge that was handed down right. from our. I just wanted some backstory. Anyways, it's good to be back in the Marine Memorial Theater, if that's what it's called, in San Francisco. You know, it's great here. If you, if you stay at the hotel here, which I have several times, and it's lovely, and the people here are great, the towels in there, most hotel towels, white. These towels here, they're kind of like... They have little guns on them. No, <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, they're kind of like peach, mauve like kind of beigey peach colored, like, like you're at your grandpa's or they're grandma's They're house. storming themselves. <laughs> yes. They're, they're marine towels. They're not... Yes. They, they, from the balls of Montezuma... To, to, to the, the cheeks of Triple X. <laughs> we will dry your entire body. <laughs> we are Marine I don't think, Memorial I don't think towels. from the balls of Montezuma landed as hard as that should have. I thought that was a, a, I, I thought that was a pretty solid Marine testicle joke. <sighs> yeah, I, 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 I don't... I, by the way, there's no show tonight. I don't have anything. I... I, I <laughs> 
but but I but I do. I talk, this is the first Harmontown show we've had with an audience. I mean, we like like uh, in a while. In a while, yeah. So I don't want you to be punished. I, I, there's probably more important stuff for you guys to be at, and you paid money for tickets, and I just I have nothing but shame. Why are there empty seats? I thought this was yeah, sold out. Yeah, that's what I. That was the, the first the thing fuck? I thought. What the fuck? There's way too what many the empty fuck? seats. What the? F- what in the? And fuck? this is the bottom row. God knows what the balcony looks like. How's my balcony doing? Oh yeah. Shrop okay. got into the audience. This will work out great. Yeah, I mean, we were we, we've been famously sold out for weeks, and there's just there's seats. There's everywhere. a bunch we, of seats. It's yeah, move it down. I don't give a shit. Everybody, move over one seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got I got I got I got. We we have a great show for you tonight. Prove I it. promise you that. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> Uh oh, I think we have a heckler in the front row, Dan. Just ignore Prove him. Prove it. No. I do have one. Shrub is feeding back. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was I was Go gonna ahead. try to stay sober for this show, but I think I'm okay. gonna start drinking now. <laughs> for 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 people who are going to be listening to this as an audio podcast, why is that tiny microphone-sized speaker this even there? <laughs> it seems exclusively designed for him to do that. <laughs> Rob Rob showed up here two weeks ago to totally outrig <laughs> this entire theater with audio equipment <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Wait, what, now he's... What? They shut off, somebody shut off that my mic. That was the sound of Rob getting back on stage. Oh, God. How did you not know, I mean, how did you know that wasn't going to make a horrible ear-piercing screech that would make everybody bummed Well, out? I was hoping it would. <laughs> yeah. That could have been a nightmare. Hey, do you forget it's who like, you're uh, dealing with here? <laughs> That, 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 that's like you get, asking, you're asking. I have this voice. <laughs> your, your, your whole. Your, your ear piercing is, yeah. is my, is yeah. my. Your, your whole life deal. is feedback. It's very it's true. Like, it's like asking Ed Gein, how did you know your mom's head wouldn't start talking to you when you placed it at the foot of your bed? All right, all right. <laughs> too soon and or too regional. I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> wow. Well, let's spend the next 20 minutes recovering from that. I, of all the metaphors I could have used, I, I, I I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't think it was temporal or regional. I think it was just fucking... <laughs> just a bad metaphor. Bad. I, well, I thought, I thought they were on my side for one second, but... I, uh, I, have, I have one... I, I got one thing in my Bear Notes app. Uh, uh, Bear Notes is interesting. It's tag, tag cloud-based. You should check it out. It's a notes app for... Uh, like kind of hairier, bigger homosexuals, right? Why does that fly here? <laughs> and my... <laughs> I can't I'm... win for losing. I made a joke that should have only offended Rob, three people tap- from Plainfield, Wisconsin. <laughs> stop tapping the microphones. What is he doing? He, he, does, he wants you to say hello. Here, Rob, scoot your stool for it. Rob, like, like. I flew you out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why you did either. <laughs> you were like, you want to go? And I'm like, okay, sure. You know what's going to happen. Because you seemed sad, and I wanted to make you happy. I didn't mm. know making you happy would make me sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Very true. What uh, am I, the Green Mile guy? I'm just sucking up your sadness, and then yeah. I'm gonna... Now, you growed that?! <laughs> what, he made a bear joke! I, that's a fictional guy from a movie from 20 years ago! You're offended by everything I do! I accept it. <laughs> I am sorry. I am the master of apologies. I want to hear, we all want to hear what's on your California hair app. I have one grievance. I have one gr- oh, airline boy. grievance left. Everyone on the, that listens to the podcast knows 
I have I fly around. I have a million airline grievances. I I have I have one airline grievance. I don't like airlines. They're <laughs> terrible. I'm not going to waste your time with that. You know, you're San Franciscans. You're leftists. You're socialists. You know, airlines are a cartel. You know, they're garbage people. <laughs> But with now, let's zoom in I on the one food, right? Pick. On the food. You hear about this airline food? <laughs> it's not airline food. Oh. I mean, the peanuts—they don't even give you the peanuts anymore. <laughs> Why what do they call the it airlines? <laughs> when they virgin, clearly. <laughs> Virgin Atlantic, Virgin America, whatever the fuck. Now it's a subsidiary of, of Alaska, of Alaska a, a, a subsidiary of Kleenex. I don't know. <laughs> they have, they're, they're very groovy. I applaud it. Oh, God, I know where this is going. you're going to fly right. We're going to make Virgin all right. When you fly, I'm going to fly. C compared to every other airline that tries because to tonight, make their seat. We're going to fly. We gonna live it on up. I in hate the sky. that. I, uh, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't I like it. I did it already. I, I, it, <laughs> it, For the zero 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 point one percent. Okay, of that's, you. that's what I'm talking about. Don't steal my complete thunder. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. I fly, That's yeah, the I, one part. Yeah. I, I, all the other. Me and Greg Proops get up and dance to it, and like they, with the flight attendants. Now we, we start doing like a little it, music video. It's like, when the person says. Aren't you supposed to stay in your seat? <laughs> You're getting up and dancing? Don't get ahead of Dan. Don't okay. get ahead of Dan. It's when the person says... Continue. To the point zero 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 one percent of you that have never operated a seatbelt? <laughs> really? <laughs> Here's my problem. This is a comedy writer. Break that down. Take a scalpel. Cut it in half. This is what we call a sock barrel in comedy rooms. Like, uh, she could have said, to the 0.001% of you that have never operated a seatbelt, and then continued, and it might have been funny. <laughs> also, she could have said, to, the, to those of you that have never operated the seatbelt, really? And it might have been funny. Saying to the 0.001% of you that have never operated a seatbelt, ostensibly you're asking the audience to lean in with the 0.001% of their heart <laughs> that is naturally predisposed to identify with the underdog. Whether these people know it or not, you're leaning in and then she kicks you in the nuts. <laughs> really? And you're like, my nuts were pre-kicked. <laughs> hat on a hat. Look it up. All right. Okay, Dan. Dan. But it doesn't matter. That airline's now dead, ostensibly, because maybe they treated their customers well. I don't know. Like, I, like I, 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 I used to enjoy traveling by Virgin. Uh, JetBlue is now property of Clorox. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You guys are, you're like, oh, wait, yeah, Dan, uh, yeah, please, let's, let's come to a Marine Memorial Theater when we hear your fucking quibbles about your first class travel. <laughs> That's called, that's called stagecraft, you guys. Yeah. But here's the thing, man. Called when we countering. travel by air, airplane, we're all in the same position. We're all being forced by a, a weird uh, something, something uh, complex to, to, to force it. Ah, I got to read my Chomsky. Dan, Dan, here's the thing. I, I feel like we've talked about this before, but here's the difference. All right, and, noted. And you're not going to like this. You're not going to like any part of this. You've only heard that song in first class where you don't get to see the video that goes along with it. You don't need to see her oh, going you need like to this see. to no. get that that it's joke is It's a cartoon character. Like it. It's like a moose sitting next to a squirrel, or I no. don't forget what it is. And, and it, on, on the cartoon version of it, you watch, it, it actually, it, it's less offensive when you see the, 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 the power dynamic of the two characters saying that to each other. But you've only heard that from your cosseted bullshit, rich... <laughs> Sony, NBC, <laughs> cable. What do you want now? I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know either. Yeah, keep abusing me. Everybody keeps shoveling me down into a ditch. Like, oh, you're so privileged. I'm, I'm like, I'm privileged to death. You're, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how hard it is to be privileged? <laughs> Have you ever stopped to think about it? 
oh, I wonder what it's like to be privileged. Yeah. You never think about it. Ha hashtag me. <laughs> All right, well, that, 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 that should conclude the us <laughs> portion of the show. I, I, Let's look, start I, the show. I want to I wanna tell you guys a story. You're, you're San Hello. Franciscans. So you, you guys. Hello. <laughs> you guys live at the epicenter of hate and ash, ash for mana. But <laughs> you, you're where the hippie thing started in the 1960s or something. The, the, the first bra was burnt at the, at the quarter of uh, two blocks on uh, 203 North Hate, hate, hate in, in the corner of Ashbury North. And, and I. <laughs> This city's always had a weird relationship, like a counterculture, and then it's like, and then it's such a nice place to live that the yuppies move in and they overtake and all this shit. And like most recently, oh, Silicon Valley, oh God, Jesus Christ, oh these people, <laughs> these computer programmers, some of them are here among us. They, <laughs> I, I, they, 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 oh, I, I moved here because oh, I want this poor person's apartment. How much? <laughs> how much money can I pay for for it to? shove them out with money, and it's not their money, but they're just being shoved out by money. Um, and we don't know where they go. Oakland, I don't know. They, they, they... <laughs> Oakland! <laughs> oh. Give it up for Oakland. Yeah. But then... With a but, lucky number is 911. But the... <laughs> The intersection between those those roads, like the the, the the smart people whose buses you you Visigoths block, and you're going like your bus will not pass, and and the people inside those buses going, I look, I came here from uh, uh, Thailand, I don't know what's going on, I like it, it all intersects with innovation, and and the human spirit, and the individual triumph. <laughs> I want to tell you a story. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were. I am, I am. Okay, all right. I just wanted to remind them. Okay, right. I'm telling you a story. Uh, <laughs> about, <laughs> there was, once upon a time, there was a man, and I, I know that already makes it a less marketable <laughs> story. <laughs> But uh, that's the truth. There was a man who uh, was a trumpet enthusiast. And uh, he... Well, he, a brass enthusiast. Well, a brass enthusiast. Which made him, by default, a trumpet enthusiast. Right. You can interrupt any time you want. It's fine. I'm not... Oh, is it fine? <laughs> this is what fine is? Is that okay? Is it all right? <sighs> any time? <laughs> I, I think tonight. he was talking to me. Um, a, 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 and, 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 and... It's not even making sound. What is he doing? This is insane. I feel like Jane Goodall. What am I like? I'm, I, 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 like I, I feel like I'm trying to just get everyone to have tea with me, and then I'll then I'll be like. Touchdown. I thought you were setting me up. I thought you were setting me up. Once upon a time, there was a guy <laughs> who was such a brass enthusiast that he's like, I want to share my brass enthusiasm with the world. And this new technology comes along. Oh, you can make apps. And he, and he goes, you know what? I'm gonna, I want everyone to learn the, the glory of the trumpet. And I'm going to make an app, and I'm going to call it iTrump. <laughs> because iTrumpet is too long. <laughs> and then a guy started suing him in 2011 named Donald Trump. <laughs> and... Uh, Long story short, but let's hear the rest of the story. <laughs> um, this man, Donald Trump, spent a total of something like half a decade trying to intimidate and sue this guy into non-existence, just trying to get him to stop calling his app about trumpets, iTrump. Um, this guy represented himself in court and beat him and won. <laughs> Please welcome Tom Scharfeld. Yeah. The San Francisco spirit. No. 
sounds like uh, embodied. A lot of people going out. Maybe next album coming out. You know, I don't know. Was that a good introduction, or was that too like weird? Amazing, amazing introduction. Only introduction I've got, ever gotten in my life. Can we can we help you? You don't out? want to do that. All, yeah. <laughs> can we lower your stool? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, but but yeah. I I mean I'm I'm getting your story sloppy. But there are parts that are very fascinating about it. First of all, uh, you gotta hit it. <laughs> <laughs> It's intimidating, I have to say. My favorite part of it is that you're not, you're, you're not, who's, who's the most, uh, Her, you're not Herb Alpert. That's a famous trumpet guy, I right? I know, he's a fantastic trumpet You're not like, yeah. you're, you never said that you were. You're not like, I'm the best trumpet player in the world. You love, like, right. yeah, well, you, you have an app called iBone for yeah. trombone. So, 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 I mean, you're laughing, but it's a serious app. I mean. I'm not laughing, they laughed. <laughs> But they also applaud because they love so it. Something, I'm a trombone player. I've been pl playing trombone my whole life, basically. Well, you got to eat that mic. Imagine it's a I've been playing uh, an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm a trombone player for the record. And I've been playing pretty much my whole life. And, uh, uh, but Miles Davis is one of my big idols. So I, I love trumpet. And, uh, and so, uh, He's like the Herb Alpert of trumpet players. That's right. I like Herb Alpert as well. Sorry, you guys right. don't realize Miles Davis was just outed, uh, called out uh, yesterday on a different podcast. Right. So, so what was the original question? <laughs> Continue. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm being a petty vandal. I'm angry. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, no. Uh, could you... Uh, Remind you of what we were talking about? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. I said you, you, you had a you had a iBone app. Right, right. And okay. I'm right. I'm not being aloof. I'm <laughs> pulling up your app. Okay, okay. Yeah. So iBone was my first iPhone app. It was really an experiment, but it was something that I knew because I've been playing trombone my whole life. And I launched. You know, I worked on it for a few months and got it out. This was back in 2009. Launched it and it was it was a success. You know, I got some good feedback and and uh, then I you know I got to work on a trumpet pretty much right away. And you know, a lot of work designing it, trying to get the interface right. So I was trying to make something playable and intuitive for real players. You know, something you could actually use as a practice tool and learn from. And uh, was, and so, so the, the the trombone was your favorite thing, but like you you felt like you nailed it, and then you're like, I'm going to move on to the other instrument. Right. Uh, and so I'll right. call it I Trump. And this yes. is 2011. Right. So right. then something comes in the mail. Yeah. So pretty much. Uh, I launched it... Uh, and maybe I can provide some soundtrack for this story. So, so I, yes. Yeah. So I launched it in, in January 2011. <laughs> it's beautiful. For those of yeah. you listening, I'm providing that soundtrack with this amazing $2 app. Yeah, it's not a real trumpet. $2.99. Right. So. I, 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 I very, very affordable compared to the price of fascism. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Continue. So I launched it at the NAMM show. I don't know if you know the NAMM show. It's a big uh, music merchandising show in Anaheim. And uh, we all, it, we're we, all very familiar was, with. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's the biggest trade show in Anaheim, but 80,000 people or something. So anyway. You don't have to sell it. It was a good us. launch. It was a good launch. After two years into a good launch, it was in USA Today. And then two weeks later, I got a cease and desist letter from Donald Trump. And... Uh, and honestly, I, um, well, I got the letter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you get the letter, and it says, stop. Stop calling your app iTrump. Right. So the My boss, uh, I'm a lawyer from uh, Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe, and I... Right, right. <laughs> I, 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 I uh, stop calling it I Trump. You know there's only one Trump, and anyone that's ever going to call something I Trump is the big, big buster himself. Right, right. Okay. So you read that letter. Right. And he claimed compute, he had some computer games, and he claimed that. Uh, he claimed he had computer games? Yeah. <laughs> no, and iPhone apps, and he claimed that, he, that I was trading off of goodwill that he had. Generated, he you know, thought you were riding on the back of the popularity of Donald Trump in 2011 yeah, yes. with your app about trumpets. Yes, yes. And he claimed that, tr uh, you know, it's... Oh, sorry. Trumpets known as... <laughs> so, yeah, he claimed that it was, uh, it's, it's known as a horn and not a Trump. And, and so, anyway, I... I <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that's their argument? That it's, was it. <laughs> It's, <laughs> that was it. 
Yeah, it's, <laughs> the, the, the instrument you're describing is not called a trump. <laughs> My it's, boss is called a trump. It's known as a horn. Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, basically all brass instruments are known as horns. Anyway, um, so I got the letter and I, I, I honestly thought it was, it felt like some kind of, you know, it felt like April Fool's or something. So I actually, I, I saw it on my phone and I laid down on my bed and pulled the computer up just, you know, to take some time to read it. And then I, I, the first thing I did was to actually go to the, the lawyer, lawyer's webpage to make sure it was a legitimate, like right. a real firm. You, know? you thought it might be your friend no, from I mean, college. Honestly, I, <laughs> fucking with yeah, you. Yeah, it was out of, com, you know, completely out of this world. It, 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 it was, it, I, so I wasn't, I wasn't afraid. Right, I was really just more shocked, right? I mean, you know, it just didn't seem real. Right. At this point, I just want to interject. How is your, is your eye bone money like keeping you afloat? Like, are you, I, I, I just want to get a, get a sense of like, are you in a one bedroom apartment, a two bedroom apartment? <laughs> are, you, are you married? Are you a trust fund guy? Are you, you know, we, we, we want to feel your pro protagonism. Well, I'm a, so I started doing apps like uh, when I was, 2930 and uh, I had saved up money you know before and then I started working on some different projects which didn't make a lot of money Ibone made you know some money you know uh, and uh, but it's volatile you know it, it doesn't it's, just last you have to continue to develop and to promote you, it you weren't sitting on a war chest that you no, could go I'm not into sitting litigation on a war chest. <laughs> no, 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 no one here is sitting on a war no, chest I, yeah, I'm yeah. not sitting on a war chest but but uh, but I really believe in my products you know and, and I really have you know God, I hope you. and dreams? Right? This is why I love you. This is why you're a hero. Okay, because you're passionate about fucking brass instruments. Yeah, well, which is the opposite I, of Donald Trump, and he's yeah. not passionate about anything. Yeah. So, and, so I, I worked on products that I haven't been that passionate about, and when I started working on on projects that I was passionate about, it was like you know it was something amazing. What are the it. products you weren't passionate about? I mean, I. <laughs> You don't well, want to hear about uh, it. Well, he, I mean, maybe we, I, he's, uh, yeah, I mean. I one, salad. Just one. Well, I mean, the one I did immediately prior to iBone was that was a, a service called Whoop Tones. Whoop Tones? Oh, yeah. that sounds familiar. And uh, I loved, Whoop, I'm, I, I was passionate about it for a while, but then the, the meaning wasn't there, you know? <laughs> and, and, and the, so, yeah. So the, the, the product, what it did was... Sometimes it the spark goes was, out, sometimes... It was, it was basically pre-smartphone. It allowed you to, to call people and, and play sound effects during the phone call. And... Uh, I like that yeah. already. I mean, you can't do that now. It was now. a fun... I, uh, maybe, you know, I, I could... Uh, like a soundboard, like I, think, a, I could call yeah, Jeff like a, and, go, right, like and go like, hey, man, do you want to hang out? And then press yeah, a button and be like... Yeah, so you could... You could and you, <laughs> exactly, yeah. So you could... So the, 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 motto, the slogan was... It was Whoop Tones, press one to fart, was the uh, slogan. <laughs> That's the slogan of the company? Oh, the, yeah. Whoop Tones, press one to fart. Right. Okay. But, but you could actually take the sounds and... You are... That's from 2005. It was launched in 2000. It's still These online. These are 2005 farts, Dan. Yeah. But are you picking up emotionally on the fact that you are the hero that we've always well, wanted? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. But anyway, you could play scenes too, you know, backgrounds that would loop so it could create the impression you're elsewhere. You could do that too. Oh, like, so you could do yeah. like a, 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 a foggy harbor in London. Yeah. Like, hey, fact, I can't make it to work. I, my yeah. ship is, uh, Pat Paddington uh, is lost and or, I'm or trying to find him. A, a, a bunch of typewriters and people talking like, honey, I can't right now. I got a big story coming out right now. <laughs> it's in there. That's, that's one of them. Busy office. Can, 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 can. Okay. But anyway, so I worked on it for two years, and I, you know, I just really didn't get anywhere, and uh, and I, so I started to lose the passion for it, and and you know, part of it was the meaning for me wasn't there. You know, it right. wasn't something I could go back to my childhood and latch onto. You know. But the trombone was. Was well, that, was that was. what you played when you were it in, in crazy. school? Was that your first instrument in school? Yeah, trombone? yeah. And, you know, my my you know idols, Miles Davis, J.J. Johnson, trombone player, but. But, uh, but it, it's something that really meant something. And so if I could do something for those kids or the ex-players that are, you know, the seniors and whatever. Kids I deprived mean, of but, music budgets in their school. So the meaning was there. And is, is there a market? I, I didn't know, but, but it, was, it was an experiment. You know, it was, it was a way to learn how to build an app. It was my first app. And, uh, but because I knew, um, 
I knew how, I knew what the trombone was. I knew how I would design right. it immediately. It was just about trying to figure out how to build the app, you know. But when I started to get good feedback, you know, I just kept on going. Yeah. Yeah. So that you're like, yeah, let's the 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 iBone didn't make you a billionaire. It, Not but a billionaire, it, it, it but it gave you an emotional cue that you're like, I should keep following this path of bliss. Yeah, but I am uh, going so, to now so, do the so I, I Trump. I could see a path to maybe not billions, but maybe millions. Seriously, yeah, I could see it. But at any rate, yeah, like like, like that your your job had had coincided with your fulfillment, and you're like, right, I right. Trump. That's right, next. and so that's what I was kind of going for. So then you get yeah. a letter. A guy yeah. goes, I'm Trump. I will be I Trump. I'm going to be I Trump. And then, so then, here's the part where you become a god because you don't go, oh shit, <laughs> Donald Trump is suing me. I'll just do the I flute. <laughs> you represent yourself and just go through this process that takes forever. And the mm -hmm. whole time, I'm not, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Like you're, you had to go through this whole thing. You know, it was never you in court next to him. It was just people and probably mostly paperwork, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so the, you know, it's, it's a long process, and uh, you know, I just kind of took it step by step, and I didn't really know what I was getting into. Uh, but you know, when it starts with something that's ridiculous, I mean, that's what it seemed like to me. If somebody goes and like, "Hey, you over there." That's my name. Right. That's right. my property. No, like, I felt like I was being mugged by like him, he himself. You know, it's like you're out in the street in New York, and he comes out of nowhere and robs you. Yeah. I mean, that's what it felt like. Yeah. And like, you know, what am I supposed yeah, to like do? Yeah, like the monopoly guy is like. robbing you. Right. It just like you're 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 little Bruce Wayne, and your parents are coming out of the opera house, and then a fucking dude that's even richer than them is like. <laughs> 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 right. 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 Fake, I, uh, I want everyone's money. Not real people. No, I mean, <laughs> I they all groaned. The Bruce tragedy's Wayne. real, Rob. <laughs> right. and, and you're laughing, but that's what it felt like. And yeah. that, that feeling persisted throughout, for years. And, um, and so anyway, you know, I, I, continue, I checked it out. I, I, you know, I asked some lawyers, you know, what they thought about it, just to, you know, for reality check, to make sure, I, you know, I knew a little bit because I'd gotten trademarks through the office, but I got a reality check and... Uh, <laughs> And, um, I, I guess that's supposed to sound like a road of trials beat. <laughs> but um, I have a I have a quick question. Yeah. Did so when you were developing I Trump, did any point in your mind were you like going, uh, it kind of sounds like, like that Donald Trump guy. Like, or did did that ever cross your mind until no, you got the? No, it never did because this was you know 2011. He'd right. be like, he'd be like, oh, is that the guy from Home Alone too? Right. No, it's no. that's the guy. That's the birther conspiracy guy. Yeah, no. the guy from is Apprentice. Is that the guy that's been I, trying to run for president for 35 years, no, but it, like no, yeah, basically he, in secrecy right. because no one cared? Yeah, no, it never crossed my mind, not once. And that's that's why that letter was so, you know. And crazy. there's another threshold you cross. This is mm -hmm. what's important. Uh, is that you you defeat this and you do it representing yourself. They got their lawyers. They're hoping you're going to get scared, go bankrupt. You stick to it. You reach a point where you have the right to do your thing. But then you, okay, so, like every hero... Yeah. Okay. So, 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 the, well, and then the, so after the litigation started the following year as I continued to use the app and continued to sell it and, and everything. And... and uh, and so the litigation, you know, that was, I was going to try to use a lawyer for that, but, but that fell through like the day before. Uh, my, my he aunt's. died mysteriously, so, didn't know, the, he? The way litigation works. <laughs> he one, died in a tuba accident. Right. Like, <laughs> I won't get into it. It's nine hookers, nine <laughs> Russian hookers fell on him <laughs> from the top of a shitty yeah. building. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. Anyway, it fell through. <laughs> and, he and was so strangled I, I, with bad so clothing I was, I was and choked with to, to uneatable steak. Yeah. Sorry, I don't go know. Ahead. I don't know. But so the one side, you know, the, the, the plaintiff files the complaint first. You got 40 days to answer. So it was a couple of days before the answer was due that, that it, this fell through. So I, so I go, and I, I'm myself, and I do it myself for that. And then that was, you know, it was just step by step after that. Next, there's a settlement, you know, a discovery conference where you have to talk to the lawyers. That didn't go too well, uh, and, and and they kind of threatened me, you know, threatened me with their, uh, you know, they said I had, would have to come through them, and I hung up the phone, and, and I, I, that really kind of uh, made me more determined to continue, so that continued for, for the next year, two, maybe, it was about two years after that, 
and they were stonewalling throughout the whole period. And, and, and so I had to go to the board, for motion to compel. I mean, they, they we're talking hundreds of emails back and forth, you know, trying to work through legal arguments and all kinds of stuff. But then I filed a motion to compel demanding that they turn over the information. The board sided with me and required them to turn over a lot of information. So I'm, I'm trying to give them, you know, get them to turn over information related to, that would support the facts. This uh, is where you the, become Melanie Griffith in Pacific Heights. <laughs> Shot in San Francisco. Right. Because you're like, okay, go, 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 go. Right, so, and, and, you know, they're trying to get me to hire a lawyer. They're claiming I'm brazen for representing myself and all kinds of stuff. And uh, so anyway, the board sided with me and forced them, told them they were going to have to turn over, you know, certain information. And ultimately, they didn't want to do it, so they withdrew. And I, but I had counterclaims. And then you're like, why are you withdrawing? Right. Sorry, I didn't. And I, wa sorry. I was like that. I my, was like that. My well, girlfriend calls us Dan Splaining. I'm sorry, I didn't. Well, I, I, I think I coined that. Thing. Yeah. I, I mean, I had, some idea, I had some ideas. Part of it, Everybody I thought was. Everybody calls that now, yeah. Part of it, I thought, was they had, no, they had no claims to begin with, right? This was just about draining me and disrupting my, my little business. And, um, but it was also appeared that they were trying to protect some of their own trademarks, uh, which, which appeared to me to be, yeah, they were shady. And I, I only learned about this during the course of the, that, that proceeding over that, that two year period. What does shady mean in the trademark world? It means, it could be in a number of things. In this case, uh, one appeared uh, fraudulently maintained, mm -hmm. meaning- They just one, said one of, they, Try well, one of the declarations it. that they filed was false, right, clear, okay. clearly false, mm -hmm. and it appeared that they knew it was false and that they, they, they filed it anyway right. in order to, main, to, to gain this right of incontestability. So the legal basis for the trademark is what was shady. Uh, right, for right. this particular mark like I'm talking about. they made shit right. up. They were like, oh, we got, we got a half dozen things called Trump. We got Trump perfume, Trump wastebaskets, Trump thing. And then one of them was like, no, you don't. Trump so this, so this tires, one... Trump alarm clocks, yeah. Trump, Trump sidewalks. Fire hydrants. So this, right. one, this particular Trump one, fish this particular balloons. one. Rob, Rob, I bet, just a little sidebar, I bet you can't name 20 more of those. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, we'll... Someone keep count. <coughs> Trump dogs. One. Trump frogs. Two. Trump doors. Three. Trump floors. Four. Trump states. Five. Trump buses. Six. Trump fences. Seven. Trump balloons. Eight. Trump faster. Faster. Fasters, <laughs> Trump windows, Nine. Trump pictures, Ten. Trump numbers, Eleven. Trump wait that one drums, count. Trump 12. pets, thirteen, kind of like Trump, Trump dogs. pets. Okay, Trump zoos, fourteen. Okay. Right. He can't. He can't do so it. So steaks. Steaks, I can't do it. steaks I is the only one. Like steaks is the only one. Right. But, that was, but it was good. And, they, and Trump actually, you know, Trump asserted his entire trademark portfolio against me. Seriously. Entire, you know, he had 120 registrations. And the board asked him to That's clarify. That's a lot of registrations. Which, right. Which one are you actually, which ones are you actually going to rely on this proceeding? And he picked steaks among a few others. Because they're furniture. delicious. Anyway. All right. And you Gross. fucking, but you went after him. You got, you, I went you, after you, his, you, his you, The dragon tried to eat you. And you avoided the dragon, and then as the dragon flew away, you grabbed it by the tail and you ate the ass of the dragon. <laughs> That's my, my... Well, not that kind of eating his ass. Google his struggle. <laughs> More importantly, buy his app. I want him to be a billionaire by the end of 2018. Uh, whether, you, whether you care about the trumpet or not. Uh, can, can, I, can, I pitch you, uh, can I pitch you, Tom? Uh, can I pitch you an idea? I, um, because people think a tuba is the big one that they carry around. People do but, think that. Yeah, but that's that's a sousaphone. A, that's a sousaphone. Right. Uh, how about uh, do a sousaphone app and call it the iPhone? <laughs> ah. Easy peasy. I was thinking. You got momentum. I was thinking about sousaphone. What do they call the tr the trump the the tuba? 
if it's not that. Well, there's a stand-up tuba or like a sit-down tuba, and then there's the marching tuba, which is a sousaphone. Why don't you just say that? Well, because it's a sousaphone and not a. All right, can, 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 let, let's hear a little of this. Uh, yeah, I, I how Trump. did you? I, how I did you eat the, Trump? Tell us about eating the dragon's ass. <laughs> well, the the app, by the way, it's does the dragon just, like not it? Not only is like, it a, a is it a simulated trumpet, which is already worth two dollars. Like it also has like a karaoke mode where you can. Someone expressed incredulity. They're like a simulated trumpet for worth two dollars. What? <laughs> um, I. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. But he made a, that up. Yeah. But wait, there's also there's like a more. karaoke mode where you can. That's good. That's good. It's already better than the first year of presidency. I would vote for the... Yeah, yeah. No, he's fantastic. Yeah. Suspect drunk Zarathustra. Let's go back to the story. Yeah. Go back to the story. Is there? Well, can, Tom, Tom, can you can you like can you show us a little like? like you... Is there a way? Well, can you you can you play it better than me? Because you invented it. I mean, can you? Or would you be able to play it to a beat? Is what we're wondering. Well, for, like, before before we, before we give him a beat, like I, I, just want, I want to hear him just fiddle around like a cappella, like just just you know. Wait, wait, what do you say? I, I say let's just hear him play like just, you know with, oh. without any accompaniment. Okay, yet. let him let him vamp a little. Yeah. Oh. Can you hear that? That is. <laughs> I mean, we don't we don't really know. That could be one button. We don't. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 Rap? Yeah. 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 Rap? yeah. It's. It's compulsory. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> can, can you do it to the? Can you do it? Yo. Probably put the speaker on the mic. The, yeah. The mic's Yo. here. Right. The, well, the speaker's there, and then the... Yeah. What? No, the, well, the, it... What? It... Okay. The, we should have really had a tech rehearsal for it's this a, one. It's... It's... It, well, you put it... You know, point the... Yeah. That, yeah, take it. Okay. Can, you, can, can you jack up that mic? Uh, can you pump that one up a bit? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, yo. San Francisco, yo, yeah. San Francisco, yeah. SFO, yo, yeah, yo. S to the FO, yo. Bay Area, yo. Spraying areas, yo. Area, yo. Area, <laughs> yo. You were better at better, jumping. Yo. Well, try, try to. Okay. Yo. Yo. Better than Bavaria. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. It's a couple of Bavarians here. All right. No problem. Yeah. 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 Brass is an instrument of choice. It's better than your mama's pussy's voice. I'm going to blow it until it sounds loud. I fucked your mama till her in the cloud. It's. Silicon Valley. I fucked your mama. I didn't dally. I, I got in there and worked hard. I fucked your mama all across the yard and I went to the bushes and to the shrubs. I fucked your mama. My name is Nubs. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Nubs. 
MC Nub. Enough about me. <laughs> Let me start rapping. One day, I wanted some food because I was in a food-eating mood. I <laughs> went to the store, and I ate some food, and then I wanted some more. But I didn't have money, so I had to steal it. And then your mama was there, and her pussy didn't feel it. I, what? <laughs> MC Nubs. For those of you listening, they're not, they're not reacting to my... <laughs> Juvenility. They're reacting to Jeff's reaction to my juvenility. All right. Juvenility. Yo. San Francisco's civility. Yo. They just want to be left alone. Why you gonna try to come on our trombones and all our trumpets and our brass instruments? I fucked your mama so hard she needed an after dinner mint. <laughs> Yo. 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 This should be less impressive to you, but, well, no. <laughs> you, you paid money for your tickets, so I won't tell you you have bad taste. Yo, Alcatraz, visit it. Fucked your mama so hard I had a business there <laughs> in her pussy. <laughs> All right, stop it. All right, here we go. Marine Memorial. I fucked your mama. D- 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 All right. All right. All right. Let's start over. Okay. All right. All right. Yo. A, B, C, D, F, H, I. All right, okay, that's not going to work. All right. Trumpets are the best instrument. I already did that after dinner, man. Okay. Sorry, okay, 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 okay. You're fucking it up, Harmon. They're never going to come back. I'm so sorry about what you saw about me on Twitter. No, okay. All right, still bitter. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get you, but, but I only want your approval, so that's fine. However I can get it, it's fine. Here we go, here we go, foot in the shoe. <laughs> Fucked your mama so hard, my dick turned to glue. I used it as an adhesive. I fucked your mama, and I... <laughs> oh, he left. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna do a good rap before we before, before we're not gonna leave. We're, 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 San, San Francisco's gonna get a good rap. San Francisco is a city. Your foot looks like a titty. I want to be with you. I fuck. I glue. All right, give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Get a flow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, that was the end of the track. You want to start from the top? That was good. How how you feeling, Tom? You you you, you, you like you like you good doing tired. good? He's tired. Okay. His you, arm's tired. Rob was holding the mic out. <laughs> All right. One more, one more. We're, we're, let's just let's just get it. We'll, we'll, we'll work the crowd. We'll work the crowd's information into it. All right. Oh, oh God. All right. Okay. Dance All right. In the crowd. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon. Yo. That sounds better. Brandon. I fuck your mama. My pussy's landing on her stomach. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get a better name, you piece of shit. What's your name? Kevin Dog Nasty. Dog Nasty? All right, fine. <laughs> hat on a hat. Uh, yo, <laughs> fuck it, Dog Nasty. Fuck you. I, <laughs> all right, all right. Is it... What... What's your, what's your name? Jamie. Jamie! All right. Yo. Yeah. There That's a good one. Jamie. I fucked your mama and she was never the same. I, 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 got, got, I made it tamey. I, it wasn't wild. It was, okay, I, I, I'm working too hard. All right, just, 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 just let me, I'm, I'm getting more information. Don't, don't, don't cheer. Why are there so many empty seats? It's Dan, busy. working too hard, Harmon. All right. What's your name? Michael. Michael. And what, um... Uh, what do you fear more than spiders? Dan Harmon. He fears Dan Harmon. All right. Uh, well, give me more than that, then, because uh, do you understand? Uh, like, like, like uh, what's like a childhood trauma you had? Running with scissors. Dan Harmon. F- scissors? You ran with scissors? Did you get hurt real bad? I cut my tongue in half. Cut your tongue in half? Oh, oh God. How are you yeah. able to speak? Show's over. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It healed nice. It healed nice? Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. 
Yo, Michael cut his tongue. Yo, he was, took the scissors and run Go around the block and cut his shit in half. I fucked your mama like she was a veal calf. Yo, I want to be good. I want to rap good in San Francisco's hood. I want to be with them. I want to make them like me, but I can't do it with my friend Mikey because half his shit was a hat on a hat. I want to fuck your mama hard. What you think about that? Got a hip-hop spirit and going with the flow. I'm going to fuck your mama cold like an Eskimo. I'm going to roll hard. All right. All right, all right. What more? It's not. It's. it's. He could have stopped there. He could have yeah, stopped. Wait, there. Wait, I, 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 wait, what did you say? And yet he persisted. I get. Okay. What, 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 we, we need more. We, we don't have enough gender balance in these uh, abuses. What's your name? Kelsey. Kelsey. Okay. Uh, moving on. I, 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 <laughs> Now, I, 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 Kelsey, what, 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 uh, uh, I don't want to say what do you do because uh, we're all unemployed and everyone's offended by that. Uh, what do you want to do? Oh, God, I don't know. Right? How, do you, how will you know when you're finished? Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 who's, who, 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 who is a, f- uh, a, 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 a family <laughs> member that you hate? truly hate in your uh, deepest of hearts that you, you wouldn't even care if they died. Oh, God. Roger. What's that? Roger. Roger, okay. R to the G to the E to the R. Kelsey doesn't care where the fuck you are. She hopes she dies. She doesn't care. Everybody's got trauma in there. We got we got to get beyond our shit. I'm going to fuck your mama and get with it. It's going to be in San Francisco. This isn't working, really. It's, it's... I, 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 I think he gave it a good try. It... it, it. Try the try the Schraub microphone speaker trick. Wait, wait, what's try, that? Try the Schraub microphone uh, speaker trick. No, check, come on. check it. Turn down your mic. Yeah, it's good. There's <laughs> another one. Yo, yo, I fucked your mama like. Yo, oh, and she said yo, but then I said give me some. Be around and get some. Then she said, "What well, you gonna give me some?" So I gave her all. Okay, all right. I like it. Uh, I like it. All right. I like that. I like that one. Do you want me to get you some stairs? Nah, I, I can make it. I can make it. How about it. some stairs? Would you like some stairs? Do you want a little boost? Why don't you just jump up here? Do you have anything? Here's the thing. Do you have anything that's not hip hop related? Like a song? Like is there a song? Like something that's more like I I I could sing. More of a jingle. <laughs> it's very important that I make it worth this town's time. They have welcomed me back from the dead. I trump everyone. That was great. Oh, he's not done. No, he was given the app. Available. It wasn't a real trumpet. Two dollars. You know we have. Let's try this one out. It's not exactly a song, but I think I think it's something that fans of the show will dig. And we've got Rob Schreiber. I think this might be something that's worth a try. I have an idea of what this might be, (laughs) in case anyone was curious. I was right. World of Look at Dan's reaction. Yo. <laughs> Mike Cravello's world is a world of cameras. I, come on, we can't, I, I, I can't rap. We've already established that. Look Don't. at this! Look at this pro- professional stagecraft. Yeah, yeah, well, give me something to work with. I can't face them. You, 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 if we only had a spotlight you for your ass. You, <laughs> Dan has literally turned his back. If on we the get audience. a spotlight on his ass, or the back of his head, or the small of his back, <laughs> talking about making it worth it for the audience. <laughs> You don't have there. something that it just. I, 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 obviously, my flow is off. I just. I, I, maybe I think I could. Maybe uh, I could Let's sing hear, something. Maybe you should work it out. I'll beatbox for you. That doesn't. That would be rapping. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lash out at you, Kevin. <laughs> I, I, I love your kite rental. <laughs> yeah. 
this one the lyrics version or the karaoke version? <laughs> I think it's probably the lyrics. <laughs> get used <laughs> no to it. Used to it. Get used to it. All right. Well, it, it, you know, we'll, we'll do something else. <sighs> you haven't lived it yet. No, hang on. No, that's not it. What's the... Uh, well, I'm... Hang on. What's the one that we did the, on the Harmon Tour one? <laughs> Need, you need some help? <laughs> this is how easy it is? I feel like Mary Lou Henner. Mary Lou Hanner reference. Mary Lou Hanner reference. Dan did a Mary Lou Hanner reference. He Mary Lou. Who who'd you reference? Who'd you reference? Can I? Uh, Mary Dan, Lou remember this? San Francisco is a town that'll turn you upside down. With your social norms, will be flipped backwards and you'll love it. And you'll go to college here and you'll have a micro beer. And you'll make an app or two and maybe you'll get to live in an apartment for Two million dollars a month <laughs> and have a special bus come pick you up every day that's above the law because the singularity's on the way and it takes you to the hills and you go to a campus where you take special pills and you work on ways to make robots better and while everyone else down the hill eats sweaters <laughs> San Francisco, where will you go when the hippies have died and the yuppies have dried up and only thing left is robots <laughs> hanging out at Vesuvio, doing shots of Patron, you know. <laughs> They call it AI, but whoa, whoa, how about, hey, guy, whoa, why are you making us obsolete? We have eyes and mouths and feet, and we can still play horns, <laughs> and our toes have corns. And you can't make Skynet feel that, right? <laughs> That's important. <laughs> but I guess we don't care, because... The singularity is almost here, and we are kind of hoping that we can all die, because you can't hear the music or know why. Oh, shit, shit, sorry. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, I, 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 uh, but don't, don't hurt yourself if you're feeling depressed. It tells talk to somebody. That's not real. I'm doing a character. If you're feeling depressed, remember, we're, we're going to be fine. Oh, shit. Don't kill yourself. Now I'm depressed. I know it seems like it won't make much difference to, to, compared to what you feel every day, but don't kill yourself yet. Like, just give it a couple more months. That's what a computer would do. A computer wouldn't do what you feel like doing. It would wait. It would be strategic and say, I'm going to hang out and see if there's a reason to live so I can win this game. And we might be able to oh, oh, wait, wait them out. Maybe computers will um, uh, just shut down of their own accord. Like it's the government. <laughs> oh.
Get the iTrip for $2.99 on the App Store. All right, let's give it up for Rob Sharf, Tom Sharfield, everybody, in the iTrump app. Uh, yeah. Tom, Tom Sharfield. Sharfield. All right, yeah, because we're going to, we got to, okay. That's, uh, that's our, that's our awkward way of, we, we're, we're saying you, we want you to leave. It, 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 it's, it's. Let's hear for Tom, everybody. We didn't Yay! talk so much. We didn't. He's an American hero. I Trump on app. And app. I Bone. You know who else is a hero? How about this guy? Who's this guy? I love, I just love, I, I'm 45 years old and I'm dating a uh, 32 year old. And uh, she's, she's very attractive and um, very talented. And so Rick and Morty fans sometimes target, woo, yeah, woo. target her. <laughs> Woo. Uh, by telling, boo. basically, they're <laughs> trying to... woo to boo. I think they're trying to hurt her feelings by letting her know that she obviously is so hot that I must be paying her to fuck me. <laughs> this is a... This is a yeah. There's just, no way that's true. <laughs> this is a caption under... This is a, this is a, she gets one of these about once a week. Uh, uh, this guy goes, that moment when you have to decide between being a women's rights activist or dehumanizing your gender by sucking a gross old man's dick so you can have shiny possessions and you choose both. You know what, Dan? Tell you don't have it. any shiny possessions. I'm more broke than her. I, I, like, I, I'm curious how many rewrites this guy went through. <laughs> well, he's like, been, he, he didn't spit this out in one And he one keeps go. leaving the hashtag prostitution with extra steps and, and keeps, keeps telling her, because that's Fuck. a reference to Rick and Morty, that he, he, I, I will appreciate that. Yeah, Dan but, but, Harmon but, but, would but meanwhile, like, you, know, you and I didn't go, because I, I was traveling. I don't know what you were up to. But um, I'm not trying to be just a corny, pandering you know, dude, but like the fucking Women's March the other day was the fucking coolest thing in the world. And I, did, did you get anybody march here? Did, did you guys go to? I was, was I was o there. Was it Oakland or here? It was here. There was one here. Where was it? Like, it I was wanted to... all down Market Street from the Civic Center. Yeah, that's so fucking rad. The, the pictures make you want to cry of just joy. It's the only, the only hopeful, happy thing I've ever seen in my life. And, and you know, we, I can say that as a guy who is in a show with all dudes and he talks about fucking your mamas. But, you know, it's... it's it's easy for me to say. No, it, the, the, uh, you can hear it losing steam. Like the mama fucking thing now is just like turning into a limp whoopee cushion. Like a, <laughs> it's probably good. That's a good. It's a, the era has come to an end. But uh, the, the era of, of 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 rapping about fucking mama. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, time's up. <laughs> time, time. Yeah, I'm a national hero. <laughs> time's up for your let's mama's start, pussy. Let's start fucking dads. Yeah, we've tried it. We've I tried fucked it. Your dad. He tr he tried to fuck fuck a dad, but his heart wasn't in it. He's, yeah. He's like, well, okay. Or just, just real quick. Just real. Just try just one, it. Just one. Like, really good. All right. I want to play. Dad. Just, I want to play some D and D if we can because right, 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 right. Do a dilf. <laughs> dilf rap. It's just like all these guys, they try to take a poke at my girlfriend and all the, the, the way that they do it is by telling her that she's clearly too hot to be dating such a fat, disgusting monster. And I'm always like, I'm sorry you're going through that, baby. <laughs> she's probably kind of stoked. Like, that's the insult? Clearly he bought you. You're too hot for him. She's like, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. it's ouch more over here. Yeah, like Church, my girlfriend, she posted some awesome photos from the march in L.A., and uh, she instantly lost followers. At, like, there were clearly people that followed her because she took a picture of Marilyn Manson, and then she, took, she, she put feminist photos up, and all these followers drop away, and she's like, good, fuck those people. Yeah. I wish confused. no one could follow anyone. Like, no one should be allowed to see the posts I'm making. 
<laughs> it's not for them. They yeah. should have to do something so that when they complain or call you a name that they're an asshole. Like, I always look at when I block people, I always, like, send them a photo of their profile because invariably they're following me and I circle the following you and I go, like, fuck you dick <laughs> like yeah. like you fucking follow me this isn't you yeah you did this this wasn't me i didn't want any of this to happen i've i've never heard of you i never i never if i had a choice you, you wouldn't see me. any of this I, I i i work out on instagram and then you the, the, the comments are like they just got, it's just every 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 eighth one is like there's so there's a person literally there's a person that goes stop working out yeah, well, I... Stop working out. I'm jealous. And then everybody going, fat, fat. You're so fat. I, obviously, I know that. I'm working out. I'm not trying to convince you I'm thin. I'm trying to get thin. It takes time. I'm a narcissist. I'm recording. Fat, fatty, fat. You have big tits. You're fat. You're fat and gross. And I'm like, I look at it afterwards and I go, like, are all you're Cody. right. You're right. Why would you, what is your, what do you want? You want someone to go, God damn it. I am fat. I should stop working out. That doesn't make any sense. If I, if I Instagram myself eating a cookie, then it would be like fat. I'd be like, oh, well, you know, okay. Maybe this person's like my Jiminy Cricket, you know? Like, they're trying to get through to me. <laughs> and then there's the other people that are, like, well-intended. They're like, you're, 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 and they're, you're working out, and they go, hey, you know, you can work out as much as you want, but if you don't stop drinking, you're still going to die. I, well, yeah, but later, right? <laughs> A little later. Uh, why would you focus on that part? It's f I'm a fat would, guy on a treadmill. Why would why would Say, they do that? Say keep going. Why would they do that? Why would I don't they know. do that? Why why are they being so mean? I don't know. They're being so mean. If only if only I had the privilege of appearing before 300 people, yes. licking my wounds and having them cheer for right, me. Right, right. Yeah. I get it. I'm not look. It's, uh, this is this is my Lenny Bruce phase where I'm reading the court transcripts and everyone's like, he stopped being as funny as he was in the old Harmontown shows where he would come out and what rap about farting. I, 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 I it's the same thing. I think. Wh where were we? D and D. All right, D and D. Let's bring on Steve Levy, shall we? Steve Levy. Uh oh. Ladies. Him out so you don't have to get up. What you're going, you're leaving? I'm gonna hand him out so he doesn't have to get up. Oh, I wasn't gonna get up. <laughs> What's up, Levy? Hey, whoa, what did you think about how the show went? I think it's going great. That's what you would say no matter what. That's not true. There's a, there's a version of the show where you'd come out and I'd say, how'd the show go? And you'd go, I don't think it's going too good. Yeah, well. Steve just said that's not true. Oh, sight gag. But that's definitely true. Really? You'd ever say that? You'd be like, no. Nah, no, he wouldn't. We good. know him well enough to know right. that. All right, Spencer, how's the show going? It's fine. I think I'm doing great. I don't think that crowd likes you very much. I have a question. Yeah. Can you hide the microphone with your beard? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you recording this conversation? <laughs> no. No, just me and a beard. Okay. Because <laughs> I want to make sure that this is completely secret, okay? Above I don't want anyone listening in on this conversation. No one will be. No one beard. <laughs> All right. So anyway... Spencer, how are you feeling? You've tweeted some dark shit. I'm great. Never better. You, al you also tweeted then a follow-up saying, look, I fucking am not feeling any different. I'm just starting to tweet how I actually feel. Yeah. I'm sick of other people getting credit for misery when I'm not getting credit for my stoicism. Who are the people that are getting credit for their misery? I don't know. I mean, I do, but... 
But but he flew you out here? No. <laughs> Wait, no, you're not. It's not your misery that's, I think. That's yeah. my entire act? Well, no, people do celebrate your misery, but not in that way. <laughs> because people hate this guy. Not you guys. But, yeah, people hate you, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, they don't even want to admit it. I'm yeah. hated all the way to the bank. <laughs> There's big podcast dollars. Bitcoin, baby. Big, it's big Ethereum coin, baby. No, it's big Crypto coin. Kitties, right? Big, 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 big yeah, coin. Yeah, going big. Got some Gen 6s. Got some big coin here on the podcast. Big. Should, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't got a folder. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody in San Francisco feel like tonight's show wasn't worth the ticket price? I do. <laughs> Show's not over yet. Okay. They're the only people to see us uh, live. Ever. Okay. In, in like I just five want to make months. Sure. I just always find, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you see now, I rap about gravy and I'm like, I was stumbling Dan, around like, like an you, idiot. Like you, you're talking about Spencer not being in the happiest place. You don't seem like you're in the happiest place of right now. Of course I'm not. Who is? What, who's happy right now? We'd beat them up. If somebody was like, I'm, I'm feeling great, we'd be like, well, then what's your deal? And we'd beat them up. <laughs> How can you not be happy with this guy sitting right next to you? <laughs> look, look, look around at your friends. There are a bunch of crazy people, and, and, they, and they all love you, and all these people came and paid mo good money. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? You gotta point it in right out. It's, it's directional. Tell me what to do. <laughs> I want to see if you can directional mic it. Wear that. Like, yeah. your dick and point it down, and then I get a. I'm done with dick jokes. Wow. Sure. Just kidding. <laughs> Got anti shrubbed. Um. <laughs> I'm just kidding for a whole year. I, I wrote to a pretty the point good. Zero zero 0.001% of you that have never heard a dick joke? <laughs> really? <laughs> Did, I told Dan my, uh, the joke that I wrote the other day. I think it was yesterday. I'm pretty proud of this joke. Uh, what aquatic animal <laughs> hates cable news television the most? Bears. A sea anemone. Oh, pretty proud of that. <laughs> and, the, and you're right to clap because that is a perfect joke. That's good. It's a perfectly written, perfectly crafted, perfectly told joke. Ian, I guessed it. Uh, uh, but you, uh, Belmont, tell, we, Belmont. You're, we already told the only Belmont joke we have. <laughs> Yeah, they go, we could riff one. Sorry, I mean, I, Fox I, News, I, CNN, I, and Belmont. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right there, there you go. Fox News, CNN, and, and Belmont. Belmont. Go into the White House press room. Okay. Uh, the pres president comes out and says, the press secretary comes out and uh, has terrible posture and says, <laughs> Uh, we, uh, we, 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 we are now going to answer your questions. Uh, Fox News says, uh, what's, what's, why is the president so great? <laughs> the press secretary says, because uh, he was born that way. Uh, CNN says, what's going on with Oprah in 2020? Uh, and the uh, horribly postured, weird chiropractic anomaly press secretary says, <laughs> in her hillbilly voice, I... Uh, oh, we're not uh, we're not interested in that because by the time that comes around, we will have taken over uh, in a fascist uh, way. So, uh, uh, next question. Belmont says, says shit. Is is who uh, farted? Uh, no. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, if if voting is uh, powerful, why is it legal? They're illegalizing it every day, and it was one of the big things that contributed to the election. <laughs> That's our Belmont. Right. That's our Belmont. Belmont. <laughs> 
Also, I tweeted it, but I, I had a dream. Maybe some of you, if you ever look, look, look at my tweets, and I hope you don't. Uh, I, I had a dream. I woke up in the middle of the night next to my girlfriend, dreamt this joke, rolled over, and wrote it down, which I never do. Like I, I'm, I'm too lazy to even re reach over and have a sip of water. Uh, how Pretty does lazy. an old-timey 1930s, like Edward G. Robinson-esque gangster threaten a jellyfish? <laughs> you see, through... I dreamt it. I just, so my subconscious, my subconscious is a terrible, terrible joke writer. Let's play D&D. &D. Yeah! Last time on Harmon Time, our heroes were on the quest for Patchen's gem. <laughs> After doing fact-finding, they finally made their way to a tavern where their perp was said to be. And upon interrogating people at the tavern, they discovered that their would-be perp was in the bathroom, would-be pooping. Uh, they took their positions to jump the guy as he came out of the bathroom and then were told that that seemed like a bad idea because they were strangers in a strange land and ready to start shit with someone who wasn't. But they did anyway. Shoving the guy into the bathroom, they all run, rushed in to attack him, but then the angry mob of the tavern was in there, uh, punching in the darkness. You got punched in the butt. And uh, Shrob <laughs> threw rocks. No, Diarrhea Jr. threw rocks. Hit uh, Jeff in the eye. They eventually pushed him out of the window. And then uh, they had a brief moment of peace where they stabbed the would-be perp. No, he actually was the real perp at that point. They stabbed him a couple times and tried to just <laughs> tell him stuff. And uh, then they just did that so long that the angry mob they had just escaped had just come back. And uh, how would you like your ribs? <laughs> now. Wasn't there like a bear thrown in the bathroom? Yeah. And a bear. I, I, I threw a bear in the bathroom, I'm pretty right. sure. Right, yeah. 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 Is that bear still in the bathroom? Bear? No. Bear. What, what? Bear in the bathroom. She's just supporting shit. No, I, I agree. So we're all oh. in, an, in the alley holding Rove Shrove, yeah? Right. And uh, Steve thinks that's very funny. We have a mar we just uh, and all these people around us, yeah. They're, the, the angry mob, as much as an angry mob can, is rounding the corner. And so, are, are we are we cornered? Are we are, do we have a way out of this alleyway? Yeah, it's not like a proper alleyway. It's like the back row of all these. It's like I mean, they're they're not off. They're not like houses, so they don't have backyards. But it's kind of like the backyard area of a bunch of these storefronts. It's just kind of like a. Do you have any street? Or those like flashy spells. Like Do I? Or... My name is Chad the Firelicker, motherfucker. I can, I can, I can dazzle the shit out of this guy. I can flare him. I can cast a fireball. What do you, what do you want? No, is that this guy, these onlookers, and then let's abscond. Okay, are, are, they, are they all? Do, do, do we get what we, what we needed out of Shrove? Do, no, do... We, we need to take him with us. Well, no, he's here with us. We're standing. Yeah, yeah, we need to... standing here with him. He's laying in the street. We've stabbed and beaten him. The townspeople are. They have questions. <laughs> That's so, a gentle way of putting it. Spence, we have the town wall and then buildings. Yeah, but that, I'd say there's about 20 feet of, like, alleyway. It's not like a super narrow alley or anything. How tall are the buildings? The buildings, let's put them at 20 feet. Uh, the tavern's about 20 feet. Uh, the wall's about 15 feet. Okay. Do, do these, do these ang angry mob members mean us harm? Are they, are they just trying yeah, to Yeah, yeah, no, that's, yeah. Okay, Jeff. so... Wait, wait, wait. Jeff, why don't you do like a distraction spell and I'll throw my rope onto, how do you guys feel like, you want to climb up to the top of a house or, a, or the <laughs> wall? No, no I'll, I'll dazzle these motherfuckers with a flare. Let's just bone out down the other direction. We get it. Yeah, we, it, it would be, not that we have time to talk about it, but I know a ninja doesn't like throw down a cloud of smoke and then have eight people climb a rope. <laughs> Spencer, I just feel like the smoke will clear, and then there'll be like a sixth dude climbing the rope, and it's, I think... Is, is my flare spell something I throw, or something that's just right in front of us? Say again, which spell? Flare. Yeah, you can, well, that's a, it affects one person. 
Only one person. Okay, yeah. well, that, okay. Um, uh, you know, how about this? I'm gonna go a little crazy on this, and I, I don't even want your guys' opinion on this one because I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, it's a go fight or it. flight, fight or flight <laughs> response. Do it. So. Um, oh, and just sorry. Go ahead. I know this is. You have already cast produce flames such that you are holding two fireballs until such time as you dismiss them. Okay, well, I throw them like bowling balls at the uh, <laughs> at, at the at the angry mob. Jesus. Okay. Hey, what are you throwing at us? Uh, <laughs> Rob Schraub as Rob the Schraub townspeople. Hey, stop it. <laughs> All right. They both, uh, they both go wide. Maybe it's the, the, the tumbling up across the ground or whatever, but they just kind of crisscross out. in front of the angry mob, lighting a trail of uh, fires. <laughs> Yeah, as they do you so. You can't hit a crowd of people with two fireballs. Well, that's, this is this is neither the time nor the place no, to no, fucking sorry. give notes. No, sorry. It's no, so it's hot. Not. Almost got it. I mean, we could go right now. I, I, I made a fire road. They're not going to chase us through fire. I, 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 I not going to go through that. <laughs> Why don't we move out of range? Or, or do you want to go? At, how many people are there, Spencer? Do we know? Uh, you can see six. Oh, six can... have rounded the corner. I'm not going through. I'm not going through. I'm not going through. I'm not going through. I might go through. I'm not going through. Do we have a path of egress? Is he, uh, is, uh, 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 are we able to, our goal is to get Shrove out of here. Mm -hmm. do, is it, does that seem Well, what does out of here mean? Well, away from the people. So well, them The following. people are in a, in a large walled, not large, it's like a small walled town. So like, unless you like find a hiding space or like exit. That's, well, that's what we, that's what I would like to do. I, the, yeah, the game is to find out what to do. What, what, how do you, you want to do, do it? Well, I beg your pardon, sir. I, well, yeah, no, I mean, obviously. I will, I will check my character sheet. Well, and okay. I'm just, I, 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 somebody put a knife to Shrove's neck and say, get, tell us where Patchen's gem is or where we can find I don't, it, or we'll start kicking a bunch of ass. Speaking of which, who's watching Shrove? I thought okay. oh, Carlos I, is holding him. Okay. I got, I, can, can I go? Yeah. You're holding Shrove, don't forget. Special abilities. Your handwriting. Yeah, I wrote all of these. <laughs> yeah. You wrote this, sir. Yeah. Under my special abilities. Mm -hmm. Solar flare exclamation point. This is perfect. <laughs> I didn't even... This Blind is exactly the right tool for this job. <laughs> <laughs> You did it. Blind I, all within 20 feet for one die four that's rounds. That's amazing. Wait, Spence, will that... Solaris Homino! <laughs> Does that blind us as well? Uh, well, you guys see it coming, and you've worked with them before. Okay. Cover your eyes. Solaris <laughs> Yeah, you you throw your arms out, and as you do, your whole body is consumed by glowing light, light of the silver flame. Hell yeah. It blasts out in all directions like a solar flare, right? That's what uh, yeah. Tian did? Yeah. Hey, what's, what's he doing? Oh, 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 don't look at it. Oh, I already did. Oh, ooh. let the light oh, I'm looking beyond at it. light. Oh, oh, God. So oh, we oh. take off running in the opposite oh. direction as the village? I hear footsteps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my do we, hearing do, do got we attack better, this though. Mob, or do we just, do <laughs> no, we, just... we cut, we cut and run. Take Shrove. And okay, we get cut out and run. We, we got these, we got these guys Find down. Find a safe we'll, zone. Fire. We've got to get this guy to a place where no one will find us, so we can beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> can I be at like a shambling mound or an umber hulk? I mean, like, what? I'm just sitting here. Yeah. Um. You see a shambling mound. <laughs> What the fuck? What is, what is he, like the Twilight Zone kid? Is he <laughs> sending us to the cornfields? Wait, what's a shambling? I'm going to shamble. Monster. shamble. But this one's different somehow. I'm a shambling through Is it like a singing town. hill? Something I'm like that. I'm going to shamble. Shamble on through. Going to <laughs> shamble. How do you do? I'm a shambling mound. Oh, what are you doing? I saw a bright light and you guys started coming through my shambling mound. Shambling mound. Thank you. 
thank you. Thank you. I give the shambling man one gold piece. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I put, I put my shambling hat in front of uh, Sharpie. Here, I, here, the number of uh, agent at CAA. You, mm. uh, <laughs> you have all the okay, book rights. Thank you very much, sir. Um, ba -da -ba. Where are you guys going? Uh. <laughs> We're trying to find a safe place to hide so we can take this prisoner and... and, and, and uh, Why don't you come over to my place? What is, <laughs> what is happening? Here, take my shamble in hand. I, 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 Spencer. I, yeah. Shambling down. We, no, you guys, come come with me. Shambling. Police him. You're the dungeon Fucking master. Fucking come with me. Come with me. Spencer. Come here. What do you guys do? It's a shambling mount. Hey, you, you, what is you endorse this? I, as much mount. as I am currently. Or I take his shambling hand. I, all right. <laughs> he produced some brass. I, I, uh, I sense motive shambling on shambling mount. mount. 19. <laughs> shambling mound. Rob, what's your motive? <laughs> yeah, I'm lonely. You, that's a great question. <laughs> He's lonely. <laughs> <laughs> that better be the name of the episode. Rob, what's your motive? <laughs> 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 All right. If you take his shambling mound hand, he leads you through alleyways, he cuts through a main market street, <laughs> and he takes you Hello, into Rudy. a pig farm. Philip, a couple of my friends. He's saying hi to people on the way. <laughs> he just needs to no, prove that he has friends. These are my new friends. Uh, he's talking to people that aren't people. What are he's, they? So they're, <laughs> they're shambling mound contacts. <laughs> All right, we keep following him. Yeah, so you make it to a pig farm. It's on the complete other side of town. You can see it seems like there's a crack in this wall that's not big enough for people or whatever, but like big enough it's for a wet. shambling mound. It's co yeah, it's covered in shambling mound residue. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a crack in the, in the wall, like of the wall of the uh, town? the the town the outer town wall. So yeah, you're kind of still on the perimeter of of town in this muddy. I just pig. gotta go around to the front to open the door, okay? <laughs> Just, I'm gonna go. We don't the, follow you through the shambling hole. You, you can't no. fit. You can't fit. Okay. I gotta right. unlock the door. Okay. We, I, 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 for some reason, trust the shambling mound. At I, this I like, point. I just, I, 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 how, how, how long are you gonna be gone, shambles? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already slowed it down. How, how long do you think you're gonna be down? I, you, I just gotta go to the front and unlock the door. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll wait right here. <laughs> okay. I just, I just went on an ETA. <laughs> E.T. what? It's just go ahead. <laughs> Do your thing. I, it's, I'll, it's, it'll take two seconds. Okay, great. <laughs> That's, all right, we'll, we'll see you there. Okay. We'll wait, we'll, we'll wait right here. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll be right back. All right. Should we, should we you guys, ditch him? You uh, guys <laughs> hungry? <laughs> no. Thirsty? I, no, no. Okay, we, all right. We, all right. Should, should we ditch him? No. We no. Have this guy well, he's the turtle in Finding Nemo. We, we need him. <laughs> he's like, we're, we're basically being whisked by him across plot holes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I'm not looking it in the mouth. Is it a plot hole? Hey. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Come on in. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. He really did go around the other yeah. way. Yeah. All right. Come on in. All right. Come on we, in. We follow Shambling. <laughs> what's, your, what's, your, what's your name, Shambling Mound? Shambling? Shambling? What, Gary is your last Shambling. Name, is your last name Yeah. Mad? When you come in, put some dirt on the floor <laughs> from your feet. Okay. Oh, so it's opposite, like the opposite, opposite. Of, oh. of going to a fancy yeah. person's house. I have a, I have a, a, a plate of dirt in front of the door. And we should put extra shoes on. Like, there's dirty shoes by the door that we should yeah. put on yeah. over our regular shoes. Come on in. Thank you. So, we, so what was your name again? Sorry. Sham I, Bling. Uh, I, I heard Spencer pitch Gary Shambling. <laughs> Gary Shambling. I did pitch that, yeah. <laughs> and no one heard it, and I just oh, wanted to. Okay. Can, we right. call, can we call you Gary <laughs> Shambling? You got me. Yeah, that's I just good. wanted to. It's kind of an inside joke. Can we, we like you. We like your stuff. Okay. Can we call you Gary Shambling? Sure. Okay. I like Gary. 
Uh, All right, so we, we cross into Gary Shambling's world. Come it's on not in. a world we're, we're so much as like wreckage <laughs> that like forms a kind of a, a blind to the rest of the city. It's just like a pile of in front of this wall. Well, and this, we're drag, dragging Shrove through, right? Through, yeah. Is it a safe place for us to interrogate Shrove? It's yeah, certainly I'm just gonna safe put for on the, time. I'm put what, the what, why, don't we, why don't we cross this threshold and interrogate? It's it's nine. <laughs> it's nine eleven. <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean the same thing uh, in this show. Um, it, I mean, it surely it, it always means we should be very <laughs> sad and remember everything. Yeah, that's uh, a real downer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we so, cross through. <laughs> we cross through the wreckage. So thank you. <laughs> we cross through the wreckage of that last ten seconds. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> he gets it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? We go. Are, are we through the? That's wreckage? already happened. Okay. okay so all right. Okay. All right. So where, what are we looking at now? I examine my surroundings. You're in a pig farm, such that you're being blocked by the narrow wreckage of a piece of wall that's near that crack I mentioned in that wall. I want Shrove, uh, 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 tethered. Like, like I want him. I want his pockets. I want him stripped and. Tied. Thank you, ladies. I, I just want to. I think. I think Shro is an innocent bystander. I, look, I got the magnifying glass. I'm the. I'm the detective here, and I think that this guy, we, we he just got. We just, we're confusing him for someone in his theater troupe, who left behind that co- that 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 wardrobe. Well, let's have a big conversation about that when he's tied up and naked. Because the last time we second-guessed ourselves, he stabbed me. Yeah, but wouldn't you stab someone if you were interrupted? Yeah, and throwing... I'd stab me again unless I was stripped and naked and tied. Like, I want, that's why I want... Okay, I'm okay. I'm not pretending we're the good guys. I'm All right. I use my damage control mode. I take my chains and I chain up Shrove. All right. And also just, like, everything, no, because we don't want him pulling out any things. All right. Like Inspector Gadget <sighs> shit, just, I just want him naked. Fine. <sighs> Chad, you will, will you help me strip show, strip it's a, down? It was a different culture. Dan's holding him, and he punches Dan twice. What the fuck? <laughs> I have, like, I, I, one I, hit point. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to sh- die. I shillelagh shrove, like, in the kidneys or the ribs. You haven't cast shillelagh. you got to cast Oh, no, I, I, well, then with my uh, quarterstaff, I, I, I just nail him. All right. God damn it, I really thought we were doing the right thing. You miss. <laughs> How do I miss with a stick or a guy that's being held? <laughs> he's being held, but he's not, like, his feet aren't planted. It's like, it's like a grapple It's situation. like whiffing and t-ball. Right, it's like whiffing and t-ball. Tie him up. All right, I'm tying him up and strip him and first. T- stripping him. <laughs> this doesn't right. feel right. He punches you too. <laughs> I could take it. He punches you in the mouth for six. Fuck. Jesus Christ. He comes in for another punch, but he slips and falls on his face. All right. Will you? Now's our chance. Just strip him naked and tie him up. Uh, uh, I, I cast shillelagh and just start beating the fuck out of him. <laughs> Jesus. We before can't kill after the stripping. Uh, before, because this guy's punching everybody. Don't kill him. No, I'm not going to kill him. I just want to. I, I want to beat him into submission. God, we're terrible. Well, you miss again. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Um, uh, I I fear for my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to cast. Um, summon monster. <laughs> I don't, I don't no. know about this. Okay. I, it's, uh, no. Well, I'm saying guys, that out loud. No, we, 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 we no, have one no. minute left in the show, so cast that, summon that monster. Yeah, all right, summon it. Well, Wait. It's just, you know, it's not going to attack you guys, right? It's, not it's gonna, just a very tight space. It doesn't attack friendly people. No, it doesn't. I'm just it's trying a, to think. A summon a monster. You haven't summoned one. Hello, yet, who wants some chocolate no. milk? <laughs> Gary, please. What is going no. on in my living room? We thought you'd like uh, a half-naked man chained up. <laughs> Gary, you, please. We're you guys to are pretty cool. Gary. Cliffhanger! <laughs> well, that's <okay. laughs> right. Now, like, oh. Thank you.
Thank you so much, San Francisco. You guys are fantastic. I Trump. I Trump. Go buy the I Trump Apple from I Trump. Download that shit and learn how to play the trumpet. Let's hear for Steve Levy. Let's hear for Heather managing everything backstage, making everything cool. Tiggy on sound, making everything sound fantastic. Let's hear for Rob Schraub, everybody. Let's hear for everybody who marched yesterday and everyone who's going to march today and tomorrow and ever from now on. Let's give it up for our game master, Spencer Crittenden. Chris Borough, our producer, making everything possible. I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Your mayor is Dan Harmon. Thank you guys so much. Very flattering, uh, very loving. I really, really am grateful for you guys uh, 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 treating us this well. Thank you. This goes out to uh, Rob Tangent's music. Hey, Tiggy, you got, you got music to play us out with? Put a beat on before you get beat on. Get any of that? It's a good show.